Alright, 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 alright. No, no, have... so, no, no, no! <laughs> are we recording now? Yes, we are! <laughs> Leave the microphone alone! You're crazy. You uh, eating noodles? Context, guys. Our daughter's no. acting like a sociopath. <gasps> no, she's not. She's she she's legit being... threw a cat! <laughs> she's being funny. She threw a cat. <laughs> and now Sonny is afraid of her. Yeah, a few seconds ago she kept yelling shit, shit, shit from running across the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, Sometimes boy. being a parent is entertaining. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the ADHD podcast. We have not done it in a while for good reason. I like how the microphone is still picking her up and she was in the other room. She's so loud right now. You're crazy. Our child is running around the house today. so I wouldn't recommend headphones. No. <laughs> All right. I wouldn't recommend headphones. All we're doing is just pulling right. cards and talking. Oh, yeah, in a sense. But we're, 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 we're going back to that fear game, but we're just pulling the cards like we did at the end of the episode. Oh, what? new fear unlocked fucking being imploded. Why'd you send me that meme, by the way? You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, because of the damn submarine. You know the little submarine thing? Yeah. He sent me a thing, and it said, basically, it was a coffin, and it said, poor people, rich people. Oh, and, yeah. And then it said that. billionaires, and it was a freaking crushed can of soda. I saw and I was that. Like, Are you serious right now? I saw, I saw another one where it said, only if, and it had Biden's fucking face in the window. You know, there was, like, this YouTuber dude. There was a video of it. He, he panicked and backed out of it. Like, he was supposed to be on there. He was supposed to go on it. Yeah, it's one of those weird events where people have this weird bad feeling and they're of turns that their bad feelings correct. Hmm. It's a weird phenomenon that no one knows. It's also one of the same things. The thing, thing that, is, I would have never have done that to begin with. No, thank you. Like, there's also that rare phenomenon where some people can detect if you're a psychopath. What are you doing? I don't know. Well... Before we start drawing cards, I want to I want you guys to mention a bring up a fear that you think is either funny or interesting. At the end? No, no, right the now. The people who are afraid that somewhere there's a duck watching them. That's a real fear, by the I way. Know, that, I know. What? I know. I have a big fear. All birds are not real. <laughs> Okay, you want to know what? He was making fun of me because there was like, you know, one of those oversized load things where like the cars are driving something past you that's like humongous. Yeah. And it was like a silo or something. And I was like, man, this really scares me. It reminds me of windmills. And then he started making fun of me because I'm scared of windmills. Yeah, why are you just scared of giant objects? They're creepy looking, especially if they're underwater. Have you, like, ever seen that? That shit, it creeps me the fuck out. So, Jill, is there any funny fears, you, you, funny or like, interesting fears you know? Like, legit, yeah. remember when we went swimming back at Carson in that indoor pool? What? Someone threw a plate weight in the bottom of that deep part of the pool that was, like, 14 feet deep. Yeah. And it was all the way down there. I don't know why. It kept giving me the heebie-jeebies, and I legit could not... Like, look underneath the water. It was creeping me the fuck out. I don't know why it did. It's just a fucking weight plate at the bottom of the pool. You have a fear of drowning. No. Just big objects under the water. I've had legit fucking nightmares about this shit. It makes me... It feels uncomfy deep inside me. And I don't know why. Well, anyway, I asked Jim a question. Birds aren't real. Why birds aren't real? Hear me out. No. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a joke. But, no, I'm serious. Is there any interesting fears or funny fears that you're aware of? Uh, <coughs> I have a few I can name off the top of my head. What's a weird fear that you have? Like a weird phobia. Like you see something that just makes you feel uncomfy. But other people think you're weird for being afraid of it. Because everyone has yeah, one. Yeah, I got one. You're afraid of fucking crabs. Relationships. Leave me alone. You're afraid of, like, crabs. I'm afraid of insects. 
<laughs> okay, I'm not afraid of bugs, but I am afraid of like roaches and beetles. You 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 could see me torching the house at that point. Oh god, I hate bugs. Relationships. So much. I'm scared of relationships. It's not necessarily that the relationship. You're scared of the commitment and the backfire and the responsibility that comes with it. Now I'm going to tell you a few. I'm not afraid of the responsibility. I, now I'm going to tell you a few that I find funny. One is called abophobia. Do you know what that is? No. And your brother was talking, you big jerk. Oh, sorry. What were you saying? I said it's not uh, the responsibility that I'm afraid of. It's what it, the relationships are going to come. You know? Hmm. And what the fuck were you saying? Abophobia. Do you guys, any of you know what that is? No. Abophobia is the fear of palindromes. What's a palindrome? A uh, palindrome is a word or phrase or number sequence that is spelled the same forwards and backwards. Why the fuck would you be afraid of that? I don't know, but it is. But guess what? The fear of That's palind- like being afraid of onomatopoeias and then watch. Someone's going to be fucking afraid of onomatopoeias. Eh, that probably is a thing. But, uh, but you know, the funny thing, why I find this one particularly funny, not because of what it, they're afraid of, it's because... The word abophobia is a palindrome. You know what's funny? Race car. Both, both ways it says race car. Yeah. So yeah. mom, no lemon, no melon, no melon, no lemon. Uh, GI boots too big. Yo, aloha, hola, oi. You know what I'm also afraid of? Hmm? And it it grosses me out, and I will vomit. Uh, spit. I'm serious. <laughs> Don't do it. I will punch you in the throat. No. It is so disgusting. Now, this one is a, uh, uh, so this one's the one I've only heard about recently because of TikTok. Hmm. It is absolutely hilarious. It's, it's called achondrophobia. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I've heard of that one. Say, what is it? It's the fear of little people. Oh, yeah, I heard of that one. That's fucking weird. I remember <laughs> that midget uh, comedian dude. He, he, someone in the audience, a lady. Yeah, she freaked the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, like, and like he tried to bring her on stage and he's like, what am I going to do to you? <laughs> It, it, not, like her, her response is, "What? What? Why are you afraid of little people?" And she says, "I just know that one of them is gonna rape me." What the fuck? But like that does not happen with little people. Oh my goodness! Why? That's a that is a really weird and fueled fear. Yeah, it's the thing is about achondrophobia is not like oh that's creepy. It's ah. I might have a fear of getting in a fight with them because they're going to hit somewhere you don't want to hit. He is afraid of holes. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like... Uh, trypophobia. trypophobia. Yeah, he has trypophobia. He's afraid of, like, tiny holes like sponges and shit. No, not like that. It's more like in the skin. I'm, I'm talking afraid. about, like, sponges from, like, the aminal. Oh, oh that... Oh, you're afraid of holes? You want to see my bite on my app now? <laughs> what? Oh, uh-huh. actually, what... Uh, Sophie uh, recently gave me a chondro, uh, uh, tryptophobia recently. Why? Well, we went at the pool together. What did she do? Okay, so when me and Sophie were at the pool and I was waiting for her to get in the water, I noticed her feet were kind of all soaked. And oh, is it because of her peeling skin? No, no, there was holes in her skin, like what? like like uh, like the pores were expanded. No, that's the skin peeling. Whatever it is, it looks like holes in it. Freaked yeah, me the they fuck were little out. blisters. Sophie's skin on the bottom of her feet. Yeah, right? it, it was like little blisters from dry skin. My, my I hands, think your brother has bundles. My hands and my feet both do that. And there was this what? one. Uh, I think your brother has uh, bundles or something. He's got like these big old lumps on his feet and shit. I saw that. I thought they were like warts or something, which is weird because ain't nobody in our family ever had warts except for like Sophie. Yeah. Oh, God. Fears. I hate. I, I hate. I hate holes. That freaked me out when I saw that. I was like. See, what else am I afraid of? Oh, I'm afraid. Of, this is weird, though. This I'm afraid of vomit. I kind of have to shut my brain off at work if we ever have to deal with that and ignore uh, it. Yeah, that's what I... I usually have a different mindset. I'm not the same person as okay, I am. Okay, let me rephrase that. I'm afraid that I am going to throw up. Not if other people throw I'm afraid I am. Yeah. Uh, would it be weird if I'm afraid about what's about to happen to me here in the future? Oh, you're talking about your that's, new hamstring thing? Yeah. That's anxiety. But that's still... Anxiety is It's still like fear. impending doom feeling. That, it that, is that's anxiety. still fear. 
Yeah, it's still fear. Yeah, it is fear, but it's like a different... It's a different spice of fear. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to draw a good card here. See what Just we... pull it, slap it down, and we talk. New things. Oh, fuck. I'm always scared of new things. I don't even like going to new grocery stores. I'm excited about New Hampshire, so... Yeah, you don't seem to fear new things. I don't fear new things. I fear I unknown things. I go into complete I've autopilot never been to new mode, and you have to walk me around the store like a toddler if it's even like a grocery store that's all new. Yeah, you have to hold your hand. Yeah, or I will go on autopilot, and I'll just start randomly grabbing shit. Yeah, I remember when, our, when you first moved in with me, you had a lot of trouble <laughs> I'm with afraid that. of leaving my dog for two I don't like change. I don't like new. I like things to stay the same. How about this one? This one's something I have a fear of. Missing a deadline. Deadline. Oh, fuck. I can't. I will have nightmares about missing, like, shit. Like, not uh, completing my things that I need to complete. <coughs> I will have nightmares about it. What about you, Jacob? <coughs> what about you? Do you hate missing deadlines? In movies. What do you mean? So they say I wa- well, watch Fast X. I can't eat. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, I don't think you guys can watch Fast X. If you watch it, I can pirate it. It doesn't done. matter. At the ending, get back. Get back. Oh. we don't know no. what happened because it ended mysteri- mysterious, you know? And now, the toddler doesn't get any love anymore. So Jacob, are you, you trying to describe to. a cliffhanger? Yeah. You, you, That's not a deadline. <laughs> Say a deadline, like, you have this and this and this. You have to do this, this, and this by this time. <laughs> I like how you two are on a different conversation. I'm over here like, oh, hey, cat. <laughs> Jay, no can... one else heard me of the fact hate... that I said that the cat has to Do you hate missing appointments? Child, what kind of appointment? Any appointment. Any deadline. I don't want to do appointments. Are you kidding me? I would rather just stay in my house. Depends on the appointment. To be honest. Uh uh-uh, uh, I hate hospitals. That, that's another fear. If it's a prostate exam, yeah, we missing that shit. But no, th- this is another fear. I hate hospitals. I hate doctors' offices. I'm scared of dentists. I'm scared of even therapists you know, or minor shit like that. I'm terrified of them. Hold on, Jacob said something about fucking getting a prostate exam and saying hell to the no to that. I at least attempted to put something on my ass. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, why the fuck are you telling people that? Because I'm calling him a pussy. <laughs> also, Jacob, that's serious, though. When you get older, you need to take your health like that seriously. Like, I was super scared when I had to get, like, you know, female shit done. I, I didn't like it. It made me uncomfy, but I had to because I was having some scares. Yeah. Anyway, here's the next card. Abandonment. I am afraid of abandonment. I don't want to be alone. I want to be left person. alone. I do not want to be alone. I've been alone most of my life. Abandon me. Not, not physically, but emotionally. Abandon me. I don't fucking care. How about giving blood? Mm. I'm afraid of needles. You've seen me burst out crying just because they need to give me your freaking COVID vaccine. Okay, none of us believe this one, so. What? It was the devil. Oh. oh, I'm not afraid of the devil. <laughs> that brings up another conversation. How about for warts? Me. I'm not afraid of them. They interest me in what? a morbid way because I want to cut them off. <laughs> and that's really bad for you, dear. I know. I have like a bunch of warts on my hands. <laughs> like I just see them. They don't bother me or anything. You know, like them pimple popping videos. <laughs> I know what you're getting. I have no me, more warts on my body. It just makes me want to, I don't know, pick at them. <laughs> How about falling through a hole in a frozen lake? Oh, no, I don't like, no. I mean, I, I already fear drowning. Yeah, you. it's going to, the <laughs> ice going to go back up and then you're not going to find your way out. At least it's terrifying. To, at least we get to experience uh, what it was like on the Titanic. Goddamn. That's a trick card, because I'd never go somewhere that fucking cold. This one's stupid. Accordions. What the fuck? <laughs> like, weirdo. Who the hell is afraid of an accordion? People who hate polka. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a fear of people... Now that, now watch, there's going to be a fear that people are afraid of polka men. Especially. 
Is that what they're fucking called? What the hell are they called? This is an oddly specific one. Scammed by a Nigerian prince. <laughs> I'm not scared of that because, you know, we've had phone calls like that before and yeah. we, we, we mess with them. Yeah. First of all, I know what scams are, so... How about wearing other people's clothes? You were wearing my clothes the other day. I've been wearing other people's uniforms. I don't give a shit. Now, I only have a fear of wearing other people's clothes because I'm a big person, and if I wear someone else's clothes, I'm going to break them. <laughs> what about you, Jake? Um, you've been kind of aware. Me and you have been wearing handy downs for years, so. Yeah. Well, I, so wear, I'm not really afraid of I wear thrift clothes all the time and handy downs. How about drinking at other people's glass? Ew. No. Some people backwash. I don't do that. I just stop giving a shit. I can't do that because at that point, the liquid or whatever I'm drinking, in my eyes, I view it as tainted. For example, I'm not afraid of it. Me and Little James, we will grab one big jug and we'll just drink out of the jug together. Mm-hmm. Right? I can't. I can't. Uh, uh, Even if I leave a soda out for like too long well, and it's half full, Derek, yeah. Derek, you get angry at me about this, but legit, if the soda can has been left there too long, I'll think, I don't know what's in there. It's tainted now. It's poisonous, and I can't drink it now. We're also, I used to smoke. Here's weed. where me and you are different, because we're I've eaten the garbage, so I don't. Ew. Uh. I also used to smoke weed, and have you ever heard of a game puff puff pass? Oh Jesus Christ! See, this is why. You wait. Have you ever had mono? I know your brother's had mono, and that's probably because he ate out of a fucking trash. Can. Actually, no, it's because I shared a. Because oh, you shared a drink. A pizza. A pizza. What is wrong with you? With who? Uh, I was one of Tanya's friends. Uh, someone who never had money to buy lunch, so I just offer some of my food. I stopped doing it after I got mono, though. I never... I've never had mono. Anyway, long toenails. Again, it goes back to the whole picking thing. Like, I'd pick at your fucking words. I'd pick at someone's toes. How about you, Jacob? <laughs> Jacob just looked at me like, what the fuck did you just say? I'm sorry. If I see them and they look ugly and crusty and dusty, and what goes on in my brain is, oh, I want to fix them now. Jacob, I'm, I'm afraid if you're doing something barefoot and you hit someone with your nail and you touch them. You're afraid of hurting someone. Yeah. Okay. How about mosquitoes? I don't... I'm not scared of them. I hate them. They're annoying. They are annoying. They need to die. They, they serve no purpose except to spread disease. You, Jake? Well, I want to kill not really. all the mosquitoes. I hope. What I like to do with mosquitoes, I let them like sting me, and then I squeeze my skin, and they'll just blow up. Yeah, because if you tighten your muscles, <laughs> yeah, right. If you tighten Wait, muscles, really? Yeah, so if you tighten your muscles, if a mosquito bites you, they can't pull out. Wait, really? Yeah, and then they will proceed to keep sucking and sucking until they blow up. I need to see this. No, fuck. <laughs> I'm morbid. Jesus Christ. There's something wrong with my brain. That That's not something I should want. Okay, here's one I think we can rate religion. Huh? Ah! Religion. Oh, no. Okay. Ew. Right. I'm not afraid of religion. Well, no, no, no. Wait, I am afraid of religion. Last time I went to church, they talked about rapture and that we were all going to die in 2012 and the entire New Year's of 2012. I just spent the entire night in Granny's room crying because I thought we were going to die. <laughs> Because my my pastor told everyone that we were all going to die and I we have needed a religion. to prepare for rapture. I have a religion, but... Technically, so do I. I don't. I'm an atheist, but I'm open-minded that anything is possible. I believe more in a soul than an afterlife. Though. I don't believe in any I of believe that. in, like, a spirit, a soul. I believe in good energy and negative energy... And, and shit like that. That's it. I was saying this. I don't believe in any of that. I don't believe in an afterlife. I don't believe in a god or like angels and shit or demons. I mean, I believe in... I believe in like spirits though. Uh, I do believe that. I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> yeah, I've seen some f- weird ghost related shit that I can't explain with my brain. Derek thinks it m- one of the times was just like hormone pregnancy related. I, I don't Is think so. Is it where so. you fucking saw that thing in the damn parking lot? What thing? Oh no, that was fucking creepy too. No, me and Derek were having a really deep conversation about non-binary shit and things like that. And then I saw like this fucking twisted, contorted, like skeleton looking thing 
just run across. It appeared out of nowhere and then vanished into no. Like it faded. It was pure black too. Yeah, it was pure black, and a light was shining on it. Like, it had a fucking shadow and everything, and it just appeared out of thin air and then disappeared in thin air. <laughs> it was fucking creepy. I was like, what the fuck did I just see? Anyway, toilets overflowing. Quit shaking your foot. Toilets overflowing. No? It's an easy fix, really. Well, the thing is... I don't... At this point, in my, maybe if I was a kid, I would be because I'd be afraid and ashamed that someone's going to have to go in the bathroom and see what I've done. No, here's this. I hate it. it so if I take a shit and it starts in the toilet, starts just rising, I'm going to have a deep panic. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I, the only thing I'd worry about is, oh, damn, I'm going to have to clean this up and that's nasty. It's poo water. But here's a more ominous one. The ocean. No. I hate the fucking ocean. At least the rich people are right now. God fucking damn it. I'm not really afraid of it much. I'm afraid of what's in the ocean, even though I've swam in it before, and it was very, very fun. But I on swim- the same day that I saw it, I saw a shipping container. Like, you know one of those export-import gigantic shipping ships? Mm-hmm. I saw one. I told you this this morning. I saw one from, like, uh, the shoreline. And that thing was huge, and it was extremely far away, and it was already big, like at that distance, and it was coming closer, and it just it, it fucked with my brain. I That's couldn't, I couldn't most, comprehend it. This is one of the most reasons why I, w- I want to move to him, him, New Hampshire, New Hampshire. The ocean's your bone. You're gonna have to deal with hurricanes. Yeah, and there's like a, a lot of water area because it's like right on the top where. <coughs> uh, the ocean is. How about this one? Basements. No. Jay, have you lived in a basement for like a good year? No. Yeah, it was haunted. You say that in every freaking room and shit. You say this house is haunted. No, I see my bathroom is haunted. There's a reason for that. Not the house, just my bathroom. How about being buried alive? <clears throat> yes, that's terrifying. Why would you want that? I mean, I want that. That's I mean, in context. Am I buried under ass? God damn it. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. God damn it, I'm going shut to die. Up. <laughs> Being late. Yes. I'm like an hour early to work every single day. Same here. Because of that, I'm, I'm scared. Jacob, At- please stop taking your legs. How about addicts? No. I'm curious about ours, actually. It's just full of stuffing. Talking to strangers. Not anymore. I've kind of been forced out of that. I'm not really, yeah. I'm still awkward around talking to strangers, but I can talk to them now. Okay, not this one. Because we, we had that as a pet at one point. Uh, government. I'm not scared of the government, but oh, I don't God. trust them. Um, I don't trust them. The government don't work for the people. No, they they don't. don't. They work for themselves. I don't like any of them. How about small towns, then? I'm from a small town. Maricopa is not a small town. It is. A, it was. It was. Oh, uh, small town, but I don't know. Um, it right. was one. Now it's all industrialized and makes me more bo- crack. Me and you both, or both have this fear of being fired. Oh, I do. I always try to be my best and not I've had that make people from, angry. <sighs> I kind of have this one. Doing the dishes. I don't. Why the fuck are you afraid? Is that why we always have a mountain of dishes and you leave them for me to do? It's not. Like, you nasty. It's not because I'm nah, afraid fuck of doing you. them. It's afraid of how long it's going to take me to he's do gonna God die. damn it, you lazy fuck. No, 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 no. He's afraid he's going to drown in the sink. That is not. No, he's is. afraid of touching food left in there, I bet. I, I, hate, I have this problem right here. Being touched. <laughs> okay, if I, I don't like it. Depends. Where am I being touched? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't like being touched. So, Jacob, sure. Like, it all... makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. But if it's like some type of stranger trying to pull something, uh, yeah, I'm going to panic then. So, and then I'm going to get angry. So, Jacob, where did Mr. Johnson touch you? Show me on the doll. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 
Principal's office. No. No, I was in there a lot. So well, it depends. When mom was alive, yeah, I was kind of afraid because measles. I had those. Other than that, I've never had the measles. I'm not afraid of them anymore because my nurse, when I was a itty bitty baby, gave them to me. Okay, who's afraid of this? Touching dryer lint. There's people who are afraid of that. I think it feels kind of satisfying. Is that just me? Mm-hmm. It's soft. Yeah, I saw someone. <laughs> I saw someone make stuffing out of that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, like you, and shit. you can reuse it. You can turn it into felt. It, yeah. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Live food. I've eaten live food. You've eaten a food animal alive. I think so. Yeah. I think. I. Uh... I've eaten raw food like a lot. Ah. Oh, you know, like the live octopus trend in like Korea and shit. I would actually probably do that because I actually like the taste of bungee octopus. Tr- bungee cord breaking. Oh fuck no! I'm not. I'm not bungee jumping to begin with. Even if the cord was fine. You, so I'm pretty you know. sure. I'm pretty sure Lily's afraid of that because I think she started throwing the bungee cords on the fence and I think it snapped on her. <laughs> <laughs> They're both broken in half. Okay. I'm afraid of. No, I, I can't do it. That's heights of any kind. Not done to do it, ever. Alright, so we're, we're back. Sorry, we had to do a little quick bathroom break. And a soap break. Yeah. We soak up! Yeah! They soak this! Yeah, and she's back to normal as if she did not just pick her nose with a shit hand. We had to deal with some fecal matter. Hey guys. Do we that? No, 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 no. <laughs> Sit. Sit. All right. Sit down. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I love you. Sit down. How about someone hiding in your back seat? <laughs> yeah. No. Just fuck that shit. I don't trust. <laughs> okay. Okay, who's afraid of this? Butterflies. Oh, oh God. No, goes back to Do the not have headphones. Oh, ah! <laughs> Don't wear headphones. Oh, shit. Oh, God. This is why I didn't want her to be over there. Why don't you put the microphone next to the computer? Because I'm pretty sure it's still going to pick us up. Because that's a high quality microphone. And we will still manage to pop it. Yeah, I, mean, I guess. We're, we're loud. We are loud people. It was... Yeah! Yeah, you already blew the mic in. <laughs> See, I told you. It's already peaking, like, perfectly and shit with it right there. Jacob, stop shaking your legs, damn it. No, no. Slipping on a banana peel. What is this? Fucking Does that Looney actually tube? happen? What is this? Looney Tune? I don't know, actually. An animal's attacking. No. What I... kind of animal? Being cheated on. I'm not afraid of that, but Derek knows I will probably go fucking crazy. I don't know. You're already crazy? <laughs> I don't think you would actually ever cheat, but just know you do. If I can't have you, no one will. <laughs> the fuck, right? This is the reason why people think straight people are fucking crazy. We're not straight. Both of us aren't straight. I would do this with any We're a straight passing <laughs> couple, and people will still say, Are the straights okay? Oh my god, I see a meme where it's just me, me and in the future being straight and him getting arrested. <laughs> Alright, volcanoes. Huh? Yellowstone. Volcanoes. I'm afraid of Yellowstone. Not really. Yellowstone can erupt any time. I'm afraid of Yellowstone too, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, they already have rising lava up there right now, so. There's one being watched. Yes. It's creepy. Also, I've been watching a lot of Mandela catalog shit, so that's been upped lately because I've been especially watching it before I go to sleep. Oh, God, the Mandela effect. Night. The Mandela effect. I hate having that pop. Not Mandela effect. Mandela catalog. I know. With double gangers. I and know. Alternates well, it's and called that because of the Mandela effect. <laughs> no, it's not. Why is it called it's Mandela catalog? Because Mandela is the county's name. It's not about the Mandela effect, and that's why I kept trying to explain to you. But it also you is. Donut. But it is. No, though. it's not. Replicates. You're a donut. The, the, the alter. 
alternates, right? The alternates, it has to do with religion and shit. But yeah, but they look like real people, right? No, they uh, there's something wrong with them. Exactly. They look somewhat, they look human, but they don't, right? That's the Mandela effect. No, it is not. What the fuck? No. Okay, people in the comments, please explain to this fuckwit what the hell the Mandela effect means. Okay, I'm going to Google it the right Mandela now. The Mandela effect basically means people remembering hey, something in history. What is the Mandela or, effect? Or anything, like, cultural-wise, like, remembering something different than what actually happened. Or misremembering something that never hey, actually happened. Like, for instance, hey, Baron Steen Bears is actually yeah, Baron no, okay. Skeen Bears. He just showed up. Yeah. Okay, you're right. I'm wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. I, what did I say? Shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> what did I say? Here it is. Oh, I'm thinking of Uncanny Valley. Okay. Yes. I am stinking yeah. to this couch. Yeah, you should that. watch the Mandela catalog. It's fucking creepy. It gives, I love it. It's all about the Uncanny Valley effect. They, a lot of fans made a whole bunch of fan games based off of it, and they look <laughs> creepy as shit. Like, I kept, like, tripping balls the other night because the room was, like, really dark, and we had that plastic bag on our window. By the way, our AC went out, and we had to go buy a window unit temporarily until we could get it fixed. And we all had a little sleepover in my bedroom. And uh, we didn't have any wood or anything to close the rest of the window, so we put a trash bag on it, right? That bitch kept, like, moving around because it was windy the other night. And I was watching the Mendeli catalog shit. Tripping balls kept flipping my head that way. And, of course, I've had, like, a lot of melatonin in my system as of lately because I can't fucking sleep. And that shit has been giving me, like, some really crazy dreams. And I think it's starting to, like, go into reality a little bit. You know, like, how you were telling me, like, sleep paralysis demon shit? I keep seeing flies. It happened the other night again. You had a pair of sleep? You had sleep paralysis? No, wait, it happened last night. You had sleep paralysis last night? Yeah, I woke up, I couldn't move, and I still felt like I was asleep. But I looked at Sophie and it looked like there was a whole bunch of flies on her. Because she was asleep and she was sleeping with me. Uh, I hate having some browsers. I see monsters. Why is mine bugs? Why is mine flies? I don't know. I see monsters. I see flies like all over. Like they'll be all over like the room and shit. Everywhere. Why is your sleep paralysis demon just bugs? Yeah, why the fuck? It, no, it's flies. Anyway, the woods. No, but I have no sense of direction in the woods, so I'm afraid okay, I'm just the woods get lost. At night. Oh fuck no, fuck that, no. I'm not afraid of woods at all. Me and you lived in it. Yeah. Huh? Drowning. Yes. No. Losing. No. no, I always lose. So. Illness. Yes. Kind of. Spicy food. Hell no, I love spicy. <laughs> Quicksand. Quicksand? Quicksand is one of the easiest freaking things to get out of. Because we have quicksand in this state. I think I've been in it before. And it's not like the movie. No, no. It's it's very easy to get out of. Body odor. Who the hell? Okay, I'm not afraid of it, but if someone smells rank and dank, I'm not going to be comfortable. Funeral homes. No, I think they're actually beautiful. Those people. I just worked on a funeral home. They do great things for families and and their loved ones, putting them to rest. That reminds me of uh, My Name is Earl. Because uh, the funeral home that they were depicting was for a gamer. Because they were trying to pay back this guy who was a video game guy, but he died at his game chair. So they were trying to uh, get his funeral done at a unique funeral home, which will... Put them in a put the dead body in a scenario where they did what they love doing. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, and apparently he. I remember the description. He said, "One time I did a gangbanger once. It looked so real that the, the rival gang came back and shot him again." You know, I I creeped I creeped out my uncle and my aunt because they took us to like this really old 1800 cemetery and stuff. And I said, "I think this is really cool." 
and really neat and very peaceful. And then, like, what did you just say? And I said, well, no, hear me out. Because this is where people go to finally be at peace and to rest for forever. Yeah. You're, That's all I could But you gotta get a roll in your family or religious nut jobs, too. What? Your family's full of religious nut jobs. What does that have to do with anything? Bruh, how do you think people view death in religion? I view death as you're being released from everything. You, in theory, can become nothing. I view death as pleasure. Or anything. Yeah, because it's not supposed to be a scary experience. Everyone who's ever... Yeah, yeah. Stop acting suicidal for five minutes. No, no, everyone who has ever described like what death is like say that it's very peaceful and you just your body like knows what to do. Your body just like turns everything off. I'm pretty sure if you blow up it's not very peaceful. I don't know, it's very quick. You won't even fucking be thinking. <laughs> Oh god, the melatonin's already kicking in and I'm getting really sleepy. Okay, let's do the next one. Being possessed. <clears throat> I have, no, I don't believe in possession. I've never seen it personally, so. Sharing <clears throat> food. <laughs> Fuck, Derek, you should be. <laughs> no, I'm not afraid of sharing food. I share food all the time, especially with my baby. Fear of water. Is that the same thing as the Sophia? drowning? Almost. Sophia, you need to get up here. You're afraid of water. It's kind of fear of being wet. No, I love swimming. Going bald? I already have that. No, I don't want... I want to be a naked mo rat. A fat one. <laughs> you want to have no <laughs> hair at all? You want to have no hair at all? Yeah, it's a tedious pain in the ass. Just like how I don't want any nails either. Especially toenails. I'm going bald now. I want my toenails surgically removed. And I have told you this for years. <laughs> Jacob's concerned. <laughs> I want my toenails surgically removed. They're useless. So Jacob, birds. He what? If you're a bird, you think birds are real? Birds. Yeah, it's it's, it's the government spying on. I'm not them. afraid of them. I was uh, <laughs> raised Papa? redneck. All I can think of is, can I eat it? Dogs. <laughs> Who? Dogs. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm afraid of dogs. No, you're not. You have dogs. <laughs> I'm afraid of aggressive dogs. Chickens. No. <laughs> Again. I have no fear of dogs, though. To be honest, you know, you can bring me around the biggest, meanest dog, and I'll tr still try to pet them. I don't get. Up. I don't understand the people who are afraid of like chickens or rats. Dad, Dad's not afraid of dogs. You fucking hit that motherfucker with a hammer. He does something. I'll eat like one of my coworkers said the other day that she's afraid of like rats or mice, and I'm just like, why? They're so cute. I'm afraid of leaving my dog. Right. Speaking of right mice and rats, you know how often I had to deal with fucking soldiers freaking out over mice? I know that was a big thing on the base too. I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> right. Grown ass so men bad. are fucking free. Yeah, of you're mice. afraid of the fucking rat, but not the bullets that could kill you. My God. You're a child eating chicken. Is that good chickens? A uh, good chickens, huh? Oh, Uncle Jake is stealing your chickens. Can you imagine she's a fucking saw to me in the face? <laughs> she's gonna eat you like she's she did that. <laughs> no one heard me. Huh? She's gonna yeet you like she did the cat. Just grab you up by your <laughs> t-shirt and throw. <laughs> Sophie, smash! <laughs> I was gonna say she turned into the Hulk. How about a plane crash? Yes, I'm Let's not talk lights. about that when I'm about to go on a plane soon. If, oh. if I do. Haunted houses. No, I don't believe in. Mistakenly arrested. Um, that would just piss me off. That would just make me angry. Depends on the arrest. Like, what Public restrooms. No. No? No. no. <laughs> blizzards? Like snow? Kind blizzards? of, yes. Because I don't like the cold. You and gave birth in a blizzard, like, right? I know. I was so drugged out, though, and my brain was not fully there at the time. Get this fucking thing out of my stomach. Actually, no. I was, like, delirious. Most of the shit I don't even remember. She fainted any. several times. Yeah. Like, during me actually doing that, I passed out. 
And I I never yelled at anyone. D- did I scream or anything? No, you are just panicked. Yeah, I kept fainting. I, like, went into, like, shock. Okay, how about drones? <laughs> what? Drones. Drones? No. Well, who the fuck is looking at... It's just gonna piss me off. Like, a lot of these, that would just make me angry. This one's a weird one. Potluck dinners. Well, you can't eat at everyone's house, considering I've seen the videos of the white people in England taking the damn toilet seats off their toilets and sticking them in the dishwasher. Or using their used diapers to clean greasy pans. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that just made me want to throw up. Hold on. Let's all sing it. Let's all sing it. You can't eat in everybody's house. (laughs) I feel a little bit scared, too. I understand that one. Fuck. They ain't invited to the cookout. What? They ain't invited to the cookout. (laughs) Oh god. Um, let's see. Touching worms. No, no. I. You kind of are. I though. love fishing. <laughs> I, I love fishing. Okay, so we went fishing, and I was just like doing my thing because I grew up like a country girl. I was ripping them in half, shoving them on the hook, all that crap that you do, you know, when you go fishing. Typical shit. Powder over here. Derek, he couldn't do it. He made me do it for him. <laughs> I love fishing personally. It's one of the things I love to do. So. I'm not really afraid of them. Nails on chalkboard. Oh, I hate that sound. Oh, 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 that just triggered fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that was authentic right there. Oh, Jeez. Ah. I didn't know what you mean. Oh, fuck. I was trying to hold it back. Oh, Dude, why'd you bring up that card? I can hear that. I can, I can hear, I can feel it in my teeth. I can feel it in my teeth. That's what the oh, okay. sounds like to a bone. I got no, one. No, no. <laughs> Think of dragging your actual teeth on a chalkboard. Hey, opportunity. Oh, I got an opportunity for oh. someone to name their fears. I already named mine in the beginning. But did you name all of them? No. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. You name one. Spiders, I don't know. Needles. You mentioned that already. Doctors. Mentioned that too. Therapists. Also, well, the thing is, therapist, if you space the yeah, or rapist, it's called the rapist. Yeah, that's, yeah. The reason, that's the reason why I'm scared of <laughs> Psychotherapist. I'm afraid of uh, big things, apparently. You're not afraid of me. God damn it, shut the fuck up. Stop it. You wish you were big. Anyway, go ahead. Eating expired food. No. Well... I don't want to eat mold or like a mad. Derek, or you are not afraid of expired food. This no. motherfucker yeah, is moldy no. pizza. Yeah, no, you're. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> you're gross. <laughs> you married gross, bitch. You're Back gross. in the day, we lived. You married this, Laura. <laughs> you're nasty. You're stuck with it. So, guys, <laughs> we, we lived in this place. We call it this the red motherfucker house. lived with soda bottles and goddamn pizza boxes and said that he was going to build a chessboard. You're fucking gross. <laughs> I have hoarding tendencies. Yes, okay? you do. Yes, you do. You are a trash rat. You are a trash panda. You are a raccoon. Well, back in the day, me and Darren, we used That's to... That's my Patronus. Yeah. Everybody would be, it's a raccoon. We used to live in this old house. We call it the Red House. Expensive petroleum. Okay. So we call it the Red House. And one day we decided to have pizza. And... I think he sat there for a couple of days and then decided to mold, and Derek still ate that pizza. I thought it was bird cheese! What's wrong, princess? Pause. What's wrong, so? What's wrong with your hand? He's saying. Did you bonk it or something? You want hugs? Come here, baby. Come here, princess. Oh, here you go. It's okay. Oh, come here. Did you get bonked? Oh, come on. She probably pinched her arm in the chair. Hi, mm-hmm. honey. It's okay. It's okay, pumpkins. It's okay. I'll beat up the chair. Get it. I'll beat a motherfucker with a little <laughs> Don't break her chair. Her lazy boy costs more than your lazy boy. Well, yeah, because we bought mine at a thrift store and you bought that one on Amazon. How much was this one? My lazy boy was free. <laughs> Jack, do you want it? <laughs> you talking about me? Yeah. 
Oh my god. Technically, you had to pay 70, you had to help pay 70 bucks for a uh, marriage contract. So. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> falling into a well. I feel like those would be quite a bit easier to get out. It depends how big. Being dumped? I ain't afraid of it. Uh, I'd be pissed. Breaking a mirror. No. Well, I haven't heard of that because last time I broke glass, I cut my hair. Oh, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were a fucking wasted asshole. You wouldn't stop drinking. <laughs> Being stranded in a desert. Yes. Be living in a desert, that's kind of that. I mean, it can be very, very dangerous. Needles. You yes. That oh, God. <gasps> Missing your flight. Oh, well, I'm a little so, bit afraid of that. Yeah. Falling asleep in public. I fell asleep on a Depends bench. where you're going, honestly. Falling asleep in public. Yeah, well, no. I, I fall asleep in public. I don't give a shit. I've fallen asleep in public. Clowning. I guess I'd be more afraid of what the public is going to do to me. I fell asleep in my... In, in, not my car, but... I fell asleep in a car, but... Clowns. No. Clowns. All right. Yeah. I'll Being like tickled. I'm not afraid of that, but I don't like it. Hurricanes. No. I don't live in Florida, Falling. so I don't have to worry about that. Huh? Falling. Oh, yes. Falling? I'm afraid of heights. Like, like, from where? It just says falling. <sighs> How about songs stuck in your head? No, I have ADHD. That's a constant thing. Reese's Puff! Reese's Puff! <laughs> no, currently I've it's had a whole break song. me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> or the Snap That Smiles pack. Go fish! <laughs> you know, I've actually, I've actually had a song stuck in my head for like a month. Yeah, I've actually had moments at night where I'm just trying to sleep and then, you know, my brain goes, Snack that smile. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored by Goldfish. <laughs> or Oreo. Oreo. <laughs> where are you getting that? It's for Wreck It Ralph. Remember the Oreo guards? Yeah, they were supposed the to candy be. Like, King? Yeah, I know. They were actually supposed to make fun of the uh, the witches' guards from Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I know, but but all what was going through my brain is Oreo, Oreo. <laughs> it just it's so annoying. Now it's gonna happen tonight. Damn it! So all I'm gonna be doing is hallucinating about doppelgangers <laughs> and alternates and shit while Oreo is playing in the back of my head. <laughs> How about failure? Failure. Yeah. Yes. I'm, a, I'm afraid I'm going to fail this class, geese. but I'm not going to end up being that older. I'm not afraid of geese, but if another one tries to bite off my tit again, I'm killing it. <laughs> Didn't you toss a geese by the Yeah. Neck? My dad's an asshole, okay? I'll tell that story another day. No, no, tell tired. it now. Tell it now. I'm tired. Tell it. Hey, I'm didn't tired. your dad eat, eat your fish or something like that? Yes. <laughs> I just won it at the fair. And we were about to go on the slingshot, right? My dad took the goldfish. He's like, here. I was like, yeah, dad, I want a goldfish. Isn't it cool? It's so neat. And it had like a pink container. And my dad's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Let me see it. He pops the freaking lid off. And he chucks that thing down. And then he tells me he can feel it swimming in his stomach. And I was such an asshole. <laughs> I just unlocked a new fear. <laughs> <laughs> when you mentioned that he felt it swimming in his stomach, that made me churn Dad. in my stomach. Oh, God. My dad's an asshole. <laughs> I got a big As a little kid. As a little kid, though, I was petrified, okay? I got a big I, I flipped my shit out. I was so scared of what he did. I got a measurement. As an adult, it's hilarious. Okay. I gotta, I gotta mention that to him one day. What? The goldfish? <laughs> I laugh about it now. Just like the whole goose situation. Damn it, I'm gonna explain it. So my dad took me fishing when I was a little kid. It was just me and him, right? My brother didn't even exist yet. We were fishing. We were actually getting ready to leave. And then a goose came up to the shore of the little lake, right? My dad, the jackass that he is. Tells me, hey, Awara, go take this fishing pole and whack the, whack the goose with it, or, or beat the goose with it. 
<laughs> Me being a dumb, like, four-year-old, I was probably <laughs> half her size. Took my Barbie princess fishing pole. <laughs> Asshole, okay? Help! <laughs>